Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. Hey, you finna get slapped. Man. <laughs> I mean, we cool, but I slapped the shit out no, you by laughing. Man. Oh, oh man. I'm just, cool. I'm just telling you. We hey, cool. You ain't gonna slap me now. now what, what you wanna do? You, hey, you ain't gonna slap me. Now. What hey, you wanna hey, do? Hey, you, hey, you gonna hey. hurt yourself? Yeah. Don't, don't let him take you out of your right. sober drum. <laughs> Come on, man. No, I can do Young man, bankhead though. I can do what I wanted. Hey, listen. Hey, man. You, you, hey, listen. Hey, both of y'all. All y'all. Everybody came in this motherfucker with me. I ain't gonna go with you. Hey, look. Everybody came in the motherfucker with me. Hey, look, everybody came in the motherfucker with me. Hey, look, remember who you came in. Remember what we doing here, man. Come on, man. Let's get this shit together, bro. All right? All right. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, man, I want to apologize to my friend. I I got beside myself. I, I shouldn't have took feelings to that. That's all you good. know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't That's my dude happened. right there, man. You that's know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be slapping no goddamn about it. Hey, you know man, what I'm hey, hey man, it's all that's good. My do- that's my dog. Hey man, listen. You know hey man, we all we all here together. We came here together. We gonna leave here together. We gonna grow together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, I just had to make that. So we gonna have good times. We gonna have bad times. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, but one thing we ain't gonna have is no broke times. <laughs> yo yo yo. Hey man, uh, I know you guys hadn't heard from me in a couple of days. Uh, just had to step up and I, I finally got something I wanted to talk about, man. Uh, did you guys see the T.I. Uh, interview with him and, um, you know, Young Dro? Man, I mean, dope interview, man. Those guys never cease to amaze me when it come down to getting down, banging it out, when it come down to the culture. Loved the interview, loved everything about it. But the main thing that my son sent this to me, and I guess is something that he knows how, you know, long we've been kicking it with, uh, you know, T.I. and just the whole movement and, him as a guy that, you know, a brother that's down, hey, down from under that Mason Dixon, um, dope dude. Um, a lot of character was displayed, man. You see the part that everybody's talking about when young Dro uh, turn around and looks back at K-Dub and they laughing and having a good time as they usually do. And ends up, it's a, something that kind of spirals out of control in the mix of, you know, just being real. Um, brothers that hang together every day, that been kicking it with each other for years, because you got to understand, man, these guys have been around each other for a long, long time. And I look at the way people look at things, but definitely the display of uh, the way that T.I. handled it was dope, but I wouldn't expect nothing else but that from T.I., because that's just how he rolled. Like, one of the coldest dudes when it come down to leadership and really, you know, trying to keep things under control and trying to do the right thing in the right moment. He spiral out of control. He going to get busy with that, too. But, you know, we all grown, man. And we all growing, man. But, man, K-Dub, man, that's my dog. Like, he the one that when they came to Dallas, I've been knowing T.I. I've been seeing T.I. for years. I've been supporting T.I. the whole time. And it's a trip because when I seen him, I just happened to be at the mall. And they were there. This was just probably like, I don't know, some months ago. But anyway... We all got to talking, chopping it up. Well, I came up and just kind of, you know, of course, you know, approached T.I. and them and talked about boss talk for sure and invited him on the show. But at any rate, K-Dub, I had never met him before this. And K-Dub walked up to me twice and was like, man, I love what you're doing. I love your show. And, you know, keep doing your thing. And I'm really talking to Tip, trying to get to know, you know, get Tip to come by boss talk. And really, Tip, he sent me over to his assistant or whatever, and I talked to him. But neither here nor there, I'm ignoring K-Dub. But let alone K-Dub is the one I should be talking to because he, he was the one that kind of showed me more. Well, no kind of. He showed me more love than everybody and just talked about how he watched the show. And I've been calling him up ever since, and he always pick up the phone for me. But K-Dub, one thing he did share with me was when I was – Talking about T.I., I've been supporting this dude uh, cool since 08. The one thing K-Dub told me in the mix of us talking, and I know I'm solid as they come. He said, E, man, I'm not going to let you talk about Tip, man. That's my boy. I can't let you. I'll fight you for T.I. I'll fight you for Tip. So those guys have a lot of respect for each other. That's the one thing that I do know. They got so much respect for each other. So when you see Dro. Dro, I hadn't got to meet Dro yet, but I, I was told about interviewing him a while back. But to see them in this element and to see them, you know, control themselves and understand brothers, rah rah. That's just real. Come say you'll see some of that when Money Moses come home. When Money Moses get out of penitentiary, you'll see me and him. 
we go back and forth all the time, but it's really respect from him to me because I'm older, but I have to stop him. I've, you've seen the show, you've seen him get go at OG Purcell, whoever, which OG Purcell, my dog, I got to get him back on the show. But anyway, you've seen him go at different people or say different things that you might not like, but this is just a part of your crew and being a part of something, man, where it's dynamic. These guys are paid. These guys are kicking it. And Droge was trying to express himself seriously when I don't think that those guys are used to taking him seriously. And I think that was a big portion of why things was going the way they was in this interview because Dro was really trying to give an in-depth, serious interview and a sober interview. And you see T.I. when he tapped him, he said, hey, man, come on, man, stick to the, you know, like stick to the plan, man. Get back to sober Dro. You know, like you. And so you got to understand, man, when you got brotherhood, when you got kings amongst kings, it's going down, man. Anything could pop off, but any, but you better not try to come in that circle and say nothing. So them boys, man, like I said, the way they fell out, you know, look how Dro, people don't want to isolate to that point of that last clip that I shared where Dro said, hey, man, this is my brother. I'm not going to be slapping nobody and all. Because you can get caught up. I got caught up in my emotion. You can get caught up in your emotions. And it is a part of your condition and in mental health. The way you be trying to stay, you know, from getting upset on a situation that you might have shouldn't even been getting upset in in the first place, you know, because everybody was just joking. Even T.I. was laughing at first. So K. Dub, that, like I said, K. Dub, my boy, I didn't even pick up the phone and call him. I could have called him. He would have probably told me this or that. But I didn't even call him because when it's family, when it's your brothers, man, that ain't nobody business, bro. Even though they put it out there in the public. Them guys, they don't, man, I guarantee you, they laughed about that and moved it on and have done that numerous of times. You could tell the way Tiff was trying to calm it down. But at the end of the day, man, it's just good to have a team of dudes with you that's loyal, that you can depend on, that, that you know already they got your back, no matter if you're going through the good times and the bad times. You heard, if you heard K-Dub in the back, he is expressing to him the parts of what he's been going through as he's doing his interview, which tells me he went through all that with him. He was with him the time when he was going through all of this stuff, whether he was high, whether he was young, young, dro high, young, dro sober, young, dro whatever. Hey, man, I'm with you no matter what. And that's what real homies do. So to see them guys after all these years together like that, man, no matter if they have a little rah rah, that's the one thing about us. We not fake. So when you see black brothers like that on the stage, you might get that because we do have a lot of stuff that we still dealing with. So, but k Dub gonna laugh, he's a comedian, that's what he poses to do. That's why T.I. would laugh and these guys do this and joke. It just was on a major, major platform when it happened today, so you guys were utterly surprised or whatever, but if you really got a crew of dudes that you be kicking it with and y'all really, really solid, you've seen this before. And the way that it was handled, man, I, I, got, I can't do nothing but give up more respect for these guys, man. And you know, Tip for sure for stepping in and saying what he said, but just the whole way that they, you know, they swept that up right there. Now, I don't know who this other dude was. I've never seen him with them. So he might be a new manager. I don't even know him. Uh, maybe that's just me. I'm, I just know the guys that I'm used to seeing. K-Dub, like I say, he been to my store. And T.I., man, me and him been for years. I, I've been kicking it with Tip as far as the clothing and as far as the culture and the things that he do to make sure that, you know, he stand in his position for culture. It's dope. But I don't know the new guy. I got to find out who this new guy is because he, Dub, K Dub was not going outside. Now, that may be one I asked him about, like, who is that guy? Because I don't know him. And that, and, and that be maybe just something on my part where I, I should know him. Maybe I should know him and I don't know him. And I don't know the other guy that's sitting in there either, the little uh, Hispanic looking guy or Dominican Republican looking dude. But at the end of the day, like I said, the three main players K Dub, Dro, T.I., Look out, man. That's family, bro. Them boys been together. Man, you go on my show and look at the K-Dub interview, you'll see them boys been together forever, man. So check it, man. Hey, man, make sure you guys get in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the riff raff at the Breakfast Club with T.I., Young Dro, and K-Dub. What did you think about it? Was K-Dub wrong for laughing? T.I. was laughing, too. Did Dro overreact like he said, or was he just trying to pull it back together? It seemed like he was sincere to me, but you guys get in the comment. Let me know. Boss Talk 101. Back with the Boss Talk 101 reviews. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.